Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsonstudios.co.uk and in today's video we're going to do something in Studio One that I have never covered in the six years of my making uh, Studio One tutorials on YouTube on this very channel. And that is converting audio into MIDI so that I can make an audio source play any MIDI sound that I wish. So in this case I'm going to convert my voice here into a trumpet solo. All right, so let's have a listen to the little vocal track that I've got here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, not that great. But what we're going to do is we are going to edit this with Melodyne. And when you do that, it actually generates MIDI in the background. So that's all you need to do is just edit with Melodyne and then you can play with the tuning and stuff. So let's right click the event and we'll do edit with Melodyne. You can also do Control or Command M. That opens the Melodyne editor and then you can go ahead and you can adjust the pitch and everything else so that it is nice and easy for your MIDI instrument to generate the correct notes, uh, which is what I've done here. I've already corrected the pitch and then we close that and then you bring in presence or Mai Tai or whatever virtual instrument you want to bring in, whatever you've got. And I've gone for the trumpet. And then the next thing I do is I just drag this down. And then let's play it. Do, 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 do. Okay, you'll notice there that it pretty much uh, played all the notes at kind of a long legato length. Which in some cases might be fine, but for this, it's not really. So let's do a little bit of tidying up. That was a short note, and then these two were definitely short. All right, let's try that. Do, 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 do. Much better, much more jazzy. And so now what we can do is we can add our rhythm section and build this out. So anytime you want to fake a trumpet solo, but you don't really have the keyboard chops to do it with a virtual instrument, use your voice, scat sing it, and then go and edit it in Melodyne, bring that down to a trumpet part or a sax part, whatever it is you want to do, and away you go. All right, so there we have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button if you have. Please also hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified about videos that I come out with uh, on a weekly basis. And also you'll get notified about my Sunday night live show, which is on Sunday nights at 6 p.m. Central Time. You can get yourselves along to that and join the chat and you can ask all of your music related uh, music um, production, songwriting, arranging, composing uh, related questions mixing, mastering, I cover all of those subjects. So if you've got a question, a burning issue that you want to ask me, then we can talk about those broadly or we can talk specifically Studio One. That's absolutely fine. I can answer all of those questions. Please also go over to johnnylipsomstudios.co.uk and on the homepage there, just hit the red Get My Free Course Now button and you will get my brand new free compression course. And you'll also get a bunch of multi-track files that you can practice with. So you can either, if you're new to compression, you can go and practice your compression skills with those tracks. Or if you want to just do a mix of this song, because it's one of my songs and you never mixed one of my songs before, then certainly go ahead and do that. That would be cool. And you can use that to uh, get clients or attract interest to your mixing skills. Um, all you need to do is just credit me, Johnny Lipsham, as the artist because it is my song that you'd be mixing. All right, so without further ado, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.